Types in Humanity, as outlined by Kurupamalaja Jinrajadasa in his book First Principles of Theosophy. Well, here we have outlined seven broad types of humanity. Now these correspond to the seven rays or the seven streams of differentiation. And these seven streams of differentiation are also operative in the animal, vegetable and mineral kingdom, each of which have a range of varieties. Now, one is not better than the other. Each have their place in the evolutionary scheme of things. And now this is only an overview, um, so I'll just go through the main categories. There are subdivisions within each because you have a primary influence such as uh, say devotional and you could be um, have a secondary influence of the dramatics of primary and secondary influences leading to a range of um, subdivisions within each of these types. Uh, I'll go through the, the main types now um, and in future films I'll cover the um, types and subtypes in detail. Anyway, I'll list the, uh, the main types. If you can't see this very well, this is for a group presentation, I have uh, included it as a printed version at the end of this film. Anyway, we have the devotional, the affectionate, the dramatic, the scientific, the executive, the philosophic, and the ritualistic. And each of these have their place in the evolutionary scheme of humanity. Types in humanity. As outlined by Kurupamalaja Jinrajadasa in his book First Principles of Theosophy and reflecting the influence of the seven rays or the seven streams of differentiation which operate in humanity. Well, I'm looking in this film at um, the devotional type. Now, uh, there's two types, um, two subcategories. Um, both of these are standalone. They're not influenced by any other type. So they're, they're standalone um, type subdivisions. And we have the type who communicates directly with God. Um, many mystics would fall into that category. And also those um, who communicate through a mediator. Uh, members of religion, followers of a religious teacher such as Christ or Gautam Siddhartha or any religious teacher that they regard as um, an intermediary between themselves and God. Um, and they are really, um, many monks would, would come into that category um, and many devout religious people. Now the devotional has a secondary influence on the dramatic. Now I'll cover the dramatic in another film, but um, this is interesting. Um, the dramatic um, type of personality influenced by the devotional. Now the dramatic, um, these are people who like to play a part and get involved. They like to make things happen. And the devotional influence on the dramatic produces um, martyrs, uh, people who make a stand, people who take up a cause. These are people um, who have a devotional influence but that, that is simply not enough because they are actually a dramatic type of person and they want to, um, want to do something with it. They, they want it, just being devotional would not be enough. They, they have to make something happen with it on the the stage of life and uh, this is produces martyrs throughout history and um, many um, many religiously uh, motivated um, uh, political figures and activists um, certainly through the centuries um, very interesting type the dramatic um, influenced by the devotional Seven types in humanity, as 
outlined by Kurupamilati Jinraja Dalza in his book First Principles of Theosophy and which reflect the seven rays or the seven streams of differentiation which operate through the human kingdom. Well, in this film we're going to talk about the affectionate. Now, Jin Rajadaza has given this um, two subdivisions, both of which um, he's described as being standalone, um, uninfluenced by other types. Um, I beg to differ with that, and I'll, I'll say something on that in, um, in a minute. Now, the first type here, intense love to one. Um, this is the sort of um, person who um, directs and expresses and concentrates their love towards one person. Um, possibly many um, writers of love poetry um, fall into this category. And another example I could give is um, Romeo and Juliet. However, um, I think it goes a bit further than that. Um, Jin Rajadaza has said um, here that it's, uh, it's standalone, but I think that this um, subdivision could be influenced by the devotional and give rise to uh, someone who expresses um, and concentrates love on a deity. Um, an affectionate person influenced by the devotional type. Now the second type, philanthropic, uh, this sort of person spreads their love a bit wider. They are concerned for the well-being of others and they're the sort of people who like to help people out. Um, there's, there's a concern for, for their, their fellow man. Um, I think a good example of, of this type of person would uh, be um, Dr. Bernardo and um, his, um, his ragged schools that he ran before he um, opened the, the children's homes. Um, he was someone who was concerned about social conditions and went out and, and did something about it. Seven types in humanity, as outlined by Kurupamalaji Jin Rajadaza in his book The First Principles of Theosophy, which correspond to the seven rays or seven streams of differentiation which operate in the human kingdom. I'm going to talk here in this film about the dramatic type. The dramatic type is uh, someone who likes to get involved, play a part, um, someone who wants to be on stage and not in the audience. They like, like to be sent like the attention, like the centre of attention. And I would say for a dramatic person, being a protagonist in, in any situation can become a transcendent experience irrespective of religious belief or spirituality. There are certainly people who, who like to make things happen and enjoy the limelight. Well, Jin Rajadaza lists um, four subtypes. Um, the first one, um, the actor, is a uh, standalone, not influenced by any other type. Um, there's three others, devotional, philosophic and executive, in which other types have an influence on the dramatic. Well, the actor, um, certainly I think if you're an actor, uh, you're in the right job. And I think dramatic people are often actors, showmen. Um, salesmen, presenters, um, people who are making things happen and who, um, who love the limelight. Now this um, second type, um, the dramatic influenced by the devotional. And this person can become the martyr or um, possibly um, the, um, the evangelist. Um, uh, there are evangelists who, who impress people with the power of their presentation and I think that they are very often um, dramatic people uh, strongly influenced by the devotional. 
Um, influenced by the philosophic, a uh, dramatic person influenced by the philosophic, um, Kondichin and they become playwrights, and yes, um, a chance to um, put your ideas before an audience um, and see your ideas played out in a drama. So yes, the, uh, the playwright um, does seem to be the result of the dramatic person or influenced by the, the philosophic. Um, influenced by the executive and becoming the warrior. Um, the executive is the, um, is the natural leader. Um, the sort of person who um, people people will follow, and um, a dramatic person influenced by the executive um, on Jinrajidasa's system becomes the uh, becomes the warrior. The executive, the pure executive, uh, tends to become the the manager, the political figure, the head of the corporation, someone in a leadership role, and someone who is naturally comfortable with leadership. So um, the dramatic person influenced by the executive um, would find a role for their, um, their needs to play out a drama. They would certainly find that um, in a role as, as a warrior, certainly some, uh, a role in, in the military. Seven types in humanity, as outlined by Kurupamalaji Jinrajidasa in his book First Principles of Theosophy, and which reflect the seven rays or seven streams of differentiation which operate through the human kingdom. Well, in this film, I'm going to talk about the scientific type. Now, the scientific type um, is someone who engages really appro or approaches the world. Um, with rational and analytical thinking. And, and this has given us a lot in the last 400 years in the material sense. It's brought about a lot of material improvement and has changed our world out of all recognition. Unfortunately, it's um, created also a few other problems which we're going to have to solve in the future. Um, Jim Rajadaza divides um, them into four categories. The, um, the first one is the theoretical, and I suppose we could think of Einstein's theories and, and Heisenberg and the experimental. Although the um, two really are not really stand alone, there's crossovers between theoretical and experimental. Um, and indeed, the basis of um, scientific progress is hypothesis and empirical evidence. And we move on to the um, reverential. The reverential um, is a scientist, uh, works as the other two do, but has the view that there is a greater power behind everything. In fact, Nikola Tesla, who invented uh, alternating current, without which the modern world couldn't really manage. We couldn't, we couldn't get very far these days without alternating current. Um, I wouldn't be able to do this for a start, I don't think, with, without Nikola Tesla having invented alternating current, or somebody having invented it. Um, Nikola Tesla um, said that um, what one man calls God, another calls the law of physics. So he had a belief in um, a divine power, a creator, um, a first cause. Uh, so his approach to science was um, dif uh, different from somebody who believes that if you can't prove it, it doesn't exist. And that there are people in the scientific world who adopt that approach. Uh, Nikola Tesla actually believed in, in a higher power that was behind everything. Um, right, the, uh, the last one, the spectacular. The spectacular is um, the, um, it's, not stand, it's not stand alone, it's influenced by the dramatic, and it's the, the scientist who wishes to wow the public with their discoveries. And uh, possibly Edison was in that category. Edison certainly was a showman. Um, he liked to, to impress people with, the, with his inventions and the possibilities of his inventions. And 
certainly um, uh, also if you talk about inventors, I think I think inventors uh, probably are more likely to be of the spectacular type who like to come out and show what they have and put you know show the public uh, what they can do and the possibilities of their inventions. So there we are, the um, the spectacular, the, um, the the showman of the scientific world. Seven types in humanity, as outlined by Kurapamalaja Jinrajadaza in his book First Principles of Theosophy, and which reflect the seven rays or seven streams of differentiation which operate through the human kingdom. Well, in this film, I'm going to talk about the executive type. Now, the executive type, um, executive types are natural leaders. They are comfortable with leadership and even if they work through consensus they believe that leadership should do a bit of leading. Anyway, Jin Rajadaza identifies two subtypes within the executive the magnetic and the dramatic. The dramatic subtype is influenced by the dramatic type here and the dramatic and executive combination are um, quite quite powerful. Um, anyway, begin with the magnetic type. The magnetic type um, inspires loyalty, but often prefers just to manage and to get things done. Now, the dramatic type, um, influenced by the well, the dramatic subtype, influenced by the dramatic type, um, they like to make things happen and be seen to be making things happen. They 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 put on a show, and um, political leaders usually fall into this group. Now, Jin Rajadaza doesn't um, cover this, doesn't mention it, but um, in my opinion, the combination of the magnetic and the dramatic often produces charismatic leadership. Seven types in humanity, as outlined by Kurapamalaja Jinrajadaza in his book First Principles of Theosophy, and which reflect the seven rays or seven streams of differentiation which operate through the human kingdom. In this film, I'm going to talk about the philosophic type. Now, Jinrajadaza doesn't give um, really much in the way of explanation regarding the philosophic type. So the explanation I'm going to give for the philosophic type and the subtypes are pretty much my own. Now the philosophic type um, seeks truth and explanation um, through rational or logical argument and is unlikely to be influenced by transcendent or spiritual experience. Now there are four subtypes, um, the synthetical, the, um, the synthetical seeks truth and explanation derived from facts uh, based on evidence and experience. We move to the analytical, um, the analytical uh, seeks truth and explanation derived from meaning and significance and from breaking down ideas and systems into their component parts. Although Jin Rajadaza does say that all philosophers do have their own way of working and the, these divisions are, are not precise, you know, there's, there's overlap. Um, the artistic type um, seeks to express philosophy through artistic um, medium media uh, such as um, painting literature or drama and may be um, very uh, similar to the uh, the playwright the dramatic type influenced by the um, philosophic who becomes the playwright so there's a bit of a crossover there um, same result um, slightly different um, motivation um, and finally the uh, the humanitarian 
Um, now, the humanitarian is, um, I say humanitarianism is more than um, the philanthropic. Uh, the philanthropics are concerned about people's welfare. Um, humanitarians take it a bit further. Um, they're not just concerned with the welfare of humanity, they are also concerned with the, the rights of the individual and the need for us all to live in harmony. Seven types in humanity, as outlined by Kurupamalaji Jinrajidaza in his book First Principles of Theosophy, and which reflects the seven rays or seven streams of differentiation operating through the human kingdom. Now, in this film, I'm going to talk about the ritualistic type. Now, the ritualistic type um, likes formality, hierarchy, uh, deference, um, tradition, and procedure. I think ritualistic um, person likes to have a procedure for, to follow for everything. That's to established procedures um, are very often their thing. Now, the ritualistic person is not necessarily against change, but does like to stick to established patterns and ways of doing things. Um, there's also um, found with this type um, a belief in the um, power of ritual. A ritual has power or raises power. And indeed, Rupert Sheldrake um, postulates that um, established patterns do in fact build up power. Well, there's two subtypes identified by Jin Rajadaza here, the ceremonial and the symbolic. Um, for the ceremonial type, um, formality and tradition um, give meaning to something. They, they feel that something without Without the formality and tradition, um, things can be devoid of meaning. Um, the symbolic type um, particularly likes um, mythology and allegory. Uh, the two types, though, um, I would say overlap um, quite a bit.